When adoption tales are discussed or read about, you typically find a lot of joy and happiness. But when it came to Day's adoption of Ava Baron, there was a much more sinister welcome you could assume that Jean Dill was back at it once more. And this time, John Dill won't stop exposing Diddy. In fact, whenever he speaks about Diddy, it's to refute some startling allegations that Diddy is worse than anyone could have ever imagined. He keeps repeating more and more amazing stories, but this latest one in Revelation may top them all for the craziest and most alarming tale, yet since he finally disclosed what actually transpired to Diddy revealed that he had adopted Ava, but for some reason he got rid of her as soon as he could. This is the story of Diddy's adopted daughter, Ava Baron Combs, and how she ended up leaving the Com family back in 2020. Taken her in, and Gina is now asserting that there is more to the tale than meets the eye because Diddy is said to have done some awful things to Ava, and therefore, Ava may have been connected to the Homeland Security raid. And let's break down all the tea. You know what's so crazy is that, dude, has Hollywood really been hiding the shady side of Diddy for such a long time? The industry has been aware of these stories for a considerable amount of time, and those in the know are aware that Diddy has been acting in this way, doing this, and attempting to interact with individuals. Alright so the issue with Diddy keeps becoming more and more bizarre, so I need you all to stick with me and offer comments along the way because this is going to be a bit of a rough journey. Uneasy knowing that numerous individuals have come forward to accuse Diddy of some very dubious things and that Homeland Security raided his properties in conjunction with suspicions of human trafficking, right? Although I'm willing to wager that many people don't even know the answer, one question that no one seems to be asking is what happened to Diddy's adopted white daughter. Remember that a few years ago, during the COVID-19 pandemic, he adopted a white daughter? She merely vanished and many people were unaware that he ever had a daughter of that race. Revealed to us one day that he had adopted a daughter. At the time it seemed somewhat strange so we didn't give it much thought, or perhaps we were even pleased for Diddy. There were some rumors about him at the time, but they were largely about him being on the DL which is something I now know. This is because we didn't know what we know now about him. That many people had a problem with those who were on the DL. But hey, that's his business, and it's not against the law. But as far as we knew at the time, he had intimate connections with young males who gave their permission for the activity, so once more, it wasn't our concern at the time. However, given what we supposedly now know about him, it's more than enough to be afraid, as each case brought against him either substantiated or revealed a new aspect of him. Through her lawsuit, Cassie showed him as a terrible guy who frequently touched her and inflicted all the possible harm on her. Little Rod also came forward to say that, in addition to what he had said to him, he had also attempted to pass him off to other guys in the profession like Cuba Gooding Jr. But the real drama began when Homeland Security raided his Miami and Los Angeles homes on suspicion of human trafficking. That's when we realized the scenario was genuine, terrible because up until that time, the cases brought against him had only been civil in nature and had no criminal basis. But once the feds were involved, we were certain that something was incredibly awful, as, following the raid, as, the fans wouldn't have leapt to this magnitude of a conclusion, unless they had solid evidence of a serious problem. Criticized the federal authorities, claiming that they were just playing a negative role in Doty's life and attempting to damage his reputation. His attorney stated that this extraordinary ambush combined with a well-orchestrated because of the media's presence, there is a hurried rush to judge Mr. Combs and nothing more than a witch hunt based on baseless allegations made in civil litigation for which there has been no finding of culpability in law or in equity for any of these claims a federal officer responded to this by saying, We believe that Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Sex trafficking has a troubling past, and we are responding to specific, explicit and tangible charges. This isn't haphazard we had allegations before selecting his name. That we're investigating so you best believe that if his admirers were acting on accusations, we haven't heard the last of his drama, and that some more startling disclosures are soon to come. Brought to light, perhaps providing us with a sense of closure on the events surrounding Dai's adopted white daughter, Ava Baron Khan, back in 2020. Diddy made the announcement live on Instagram, that he made a white girl named Ava talk about herself and declare that she was his adoptive child. My name is Ava. My sign is Scorpio. No, no, Ava, what is your last name? What's Eva is your other last name? Eva Varon Cones, yes. The news about his adoption of a white child was shocking. Tell them how I worked for you, and you still have a lovely life. Parents that you are also my child, but please share the narrative of how I ended up on the streets. Followed by Papa chosen to be a kind man, so when he spotted me, he chose to come get me and told me to come inside and play with these kids. 
That sounds a little bit like suspect we want it, but I don't want anyone to have it. I adopted you, just like Madonna adopted children and everyone else adopted children. Charst and I adopted you because I am the one who adopted Sandra Bullitt. Felt that having a black parent to look out for you and assist you would be enjoyable as well. So just to be clear, since it's wild online, playing with your kids obtained your mother's okay to say all of that. And it practically made us four sisters. I met Jesse Anna when I was six months old. When we first felt Diddy was fantastic for doing things right during a pandemic. When kids needed all the love they could get, I always came over. Sure, and it's a cons go now. For various reasons, people aren't able to stop giving him the side eye. And as a result, the video appears to be extremely strange. People were quick to comment when she stated, My name is Ava as a Scorpio, I. It was really strange and it gave me the impression that it was from To Catch a Predator and ASL. But that's not the end of it. She seems really uncomfortable. And this is beyond crazy. He made an interesting connection between this adoption process and Madonna's. But there are some questionable aspects of this adoption process, so that's the only major red flag here. Additionally, rumors state that Madonna did not actually adopt her black children through the legal system until it was made public last year that she was being accused of human trafficking and child sex exploitation by the Ethiopian World Federation, a charitable organization. It was also alleged that she had deceived the parents into granting her custody of the children. The intriguing thing is that this is what happened after she supposedly turned around and adopted the kids after pledging to provide them with a top-notch education in the U.S. and then returning their children. Even more people are perplexed as to why Diddy included primarily his sons in that video and not many of his daughters Ava stated that she because it is the foundation upon which Diddy is establishing his adoption. Wanted to play with Diddy's daughters, so why weren't they present instead of just his sons? I mean look at how awkward AA appeared in the video many are now speculating as to whether or not she was not only have Diddy's sons been facing some troubling charges Justin was mentioned in Little Rod's case, and Christian has his own lawsuit but the atmosphere in the room makes Diddy feel uneasy. Although this has left many wondering, the biggest concern is how she appeared to vanish following that single video. Sure, she was seen out and about a few times with Diddy's twins, Jesse and Delilah, occasions, but that was all there was to it. Considering that Diddy had insisted that she call him, she didn't appear in any family pictures, videos, or anything of the sort. Instead, it seemed as though she had simply vanished. Dad Brush is given the current charges of S trafficking in Diddy's alleged treatment of women, one would think that he would keep her around for more than five seconds. This is where we saw Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean Deal, step in. Fans are beginning to question if Diddy might have reportedly done anything to Ava, and that's why she's been so silent. With something like top flight security, and not only did he reveal that Diddy was allegedly mistreating AA, but he also asserted that Diddy had dumped her after using her as leverage. As per Jean Diddy's plan, he was supposed to gain cheap points by adopting a homeless girl he met on the streets during the pandemic and showing her affection, but he didn't do so. Since it was all for the cameras, he truly did love her as if she were his own. In addition, Jean discussed the claims that Diddy had acted inappropriately toward AA. Although he didn't exactly come out and to put it plainly, he made a pretty strong statement, claiming that everyone in the industry is aware of Diddy's eccentricities. What's really odd though is that many in the industry are aware that Diddy has been operating in this way and attempting to engage in these kinds of activities for a long time. Tales about him and other people that circulate in this field Jimmy Ian isn't being discussed because he was accused of sexual assault and all over him, but he has those publicists who are keeping it off of CN and major news reports. No one is discussing this guy, it's just something that happens. He's kind of accurate about the industry allowing people to get away though, that they're going to brush under the rug, and a few years later, Bad Boy 5678 is going to be out. It's with bad behavior because it has repeatedly been demonstrated by males like R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, and Jeffrey Epstein. In fact, Cassie disclosed in her own complaint that Jean Deal said, this really makes us wonder what's really going on. In reference to Diddy surrounding himself with yes men, who were more than eager to let him get away with bad behavior. That Diddy may have recordings of AAA in some, well, unflattering settings and the federal authorities were purportedly searching for those kinds of recordings because they were searching for photos of girls who might appear to be underage in a sex trafficking establishment. Sexual context, they're looking for a sexual act, so they're going to experience that. If someone has any strange fetishes involving small children, girls, or anything similar, all those music gadgets, this entire thing is unreal. And naturally, people are questioning where Ava Baroni is in the streets. 
and they have been stating it in any kind of picture or any kind of photo that they took out of there. Items like, does anyone else find it awkward that Diddy deliberately placed his white adopted daughter on the spot to share her adoption narrative? It was obvious that Diddy and his family were clearly uncomfortable with the whole thing, and they were laughing and showing off how much they loved her. Madonna is currently being looked at for child exploitation and exclusion from other nations people are chillingly sick about this video, and it appears that there is much more to this Diddy scenario than most of us realize. But what do you guys think about this? Do you believe that AA's video was an advertisement of some sort, or did Diddy merely use her to gain influence, or do you believe that something else is happening? Leave your ideas in comments below. Then watch this next video music.